on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. The way that those crews exist and the way that they can get money and the way that they get it is because there's no ego. Even, to be honest, even when I look at crew season, when I look at how those guys move and the branding that they're doing and, and the way that their show is progressing, and shout out to Trill and OT and Smooth and, and them cats over there, man, no ego. You see that there's no ego, and Trill has talked about it multiple times, there's no ego over there. Right, we going to Anton. We gonna get it together. We gonna bust it down together. I don't care whose name is at the top of the bill or the bottom of the bill, and that's what cats gotta understand. When I when I chopped with Jr. when I first came on, I said, "Okay, you Jordan, I'm Pippen." Absolutely no problems with playing Pippen. Why? Because I understand that's that man's vision. That's this is this is his flagship. This is his brand, and what I try and do is put some paint where it ain't. Right, and I add that. Do you, do you know? Do you know about you being pimping? That's an ego. Why you can't be BJ Armstrong? I was BJ Armstrong. If it wasn't egos, egos, you know what I'm saying, push people to do better. But as far as a relationship, I think is is. I mean, I, I I like my partners to have egos. You see what I'm saying? I mean, and I, it's just I don't, I don't know. It's a fine line. I don't I guess. know if I agree with that logic because I think ego is based off emotions and it makes you do things emotionally and not not necessarily logically. So when you move off your ego, it's because I feel it's emotional based. That's why when he showed his role, you felt like, oh, I got him too. Those emotions, that ego get people killed. Mm-hmm. So yeah, but the on the emotions, well, hold on, let her finish. Let, I'm sorry. I thought she was not yeah. for it. So um, ego relationships, absolutely. I think it's a difference between being confident. (laughs) Confident also has an air of humility to it. When you have an ego and you feel a certain type of way, then when you're basing your things off feelings, it's always going to end up tragically, I think, to me. So I don't I don't do ego. But see, I'm going to say this, though, right? It's it's one thing, though, right? And and I, I, I I give props to what props is due. So you know what I'm saying? Quest flex his wife. You see what I'm saying? It's a it's an ego with that thing. Like he didn't sit here and then, I mean, you can say the same thing, Anton too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and yeah, it, it, I can say you know that's an ego trip. You know what I'm saying? You 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 can't get Quest to goddamn. You know what I'm saying? Talk like probably ten minutes without bringing up the name Rosie. You know what I'm saying? And, and he 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 put it out there, and it's like, is that an ego? But it's an ego to me because I don't have what he have. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, um, the the guy with the rollers, we can say it's an ego trip if you don't have a roller. You see what I'm saying? It, I mean, and it, that goes into that that whole concept that it's like it's only to be considered ego if you on a lower level. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense or not? I, 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 I'm sorry. I think, sorry. The, context, I think the context that Kevin Hart was talking about it is. Not ego in a way I think that we talking about it right now. It's ego in that it's preventing you from getting the bag, right? Like, for example, when he used the idea between him and The Rock, they both busting down a bag because they don't care about who's one or two. You don't let that get in the way. Like, men naturally compete. Mm-hmm. But I think the difference between competing and letting that slow you down from what's going what's gonna to benefit us both. I'm not going to fumble no bag. Because, you know what I'm saying, I'm letting my ego prevent me from being able to do that. At some point, yo, somebody got to humble themselves to make sure that we secure this bag and somebody going to have to make a sacrifice. And otherwise, ain't nobody going to get nothing. You know what I'm saying? And so I think that's the context that he's saying. Kevin Hart is saying, listen, just because you getting money or just because I'm getting money don't mean that you can't get money, too. If we can get money together, we can probably bust down more bags than if we did it separately. So let me put my ego to the side so that we can, you know what I'm saying, make sure that we secure the bag because the only thing that matters is the results. Now, I think that the ego that a lot of other people are talking about, which is what Logic was explaining, is the ego that women don't understand. Men are naturally competitive. You know what I'm saying? And so it kind of reminds me of Floyd uh, one of the reasons why people tuned in to see Floyd Mayweather is some of the people, just as many people bought tickets to see him lose is to win. And so I don't think that that was ego. I think that that was confidence and it ain't have nothing to do with humility. It had everything to do with the fact that he could back up what he said. You know what I'm saying? And I like that. I like dudes because then that pushes me 
because I look at that as motivation. I'm like, yo, all right, let's get this money then. Let's win. Let's compete. You know what I'm saying? Let's win. And that ain't got nothing to do with jealousy. That's just got something to do with more inspiration, right? But when it come to busting down that bag, ain't no ego for me. Like, if we going to get this money, then let's get all the money, then let's sweep it up. And if we got to get more of it together than we do apart, then we got to do it together. But it ain't no ego when it comes to getting this money. Let's get it. I, I would also like to add, I think ego was used in the wrong context because ego is just a sense of self-importance. I think he probably meant like virgin on arrogance or something like that, which is what stops people from getting the bag. But we all have a sense of importance in our own lives, which is why we wake up and do things. But his point was extremely valid. If you are arrogant, you will miss out on great opportunities to add value in other people's lives and actually learn along the way. No, I think, I think um, with all due respect, I think he used it correctly. Because if you look at, and I don't particularly care for Kevin Hart as a comedian, but as a businessman, I absolutely admire his dude. You look at the way he brought his team up and afforded people that he's worked with and alongside for years and opportunity. If you look at LeBron James camp, Right. First year out uh, before he even touched the basketball, got ninety five million dollar contract from Nike, put his homeboys through college, fired the, uh, uh, the agent that he had and brought his homeboys on. Unprecedented move and has been winning for like what, the last 20, 25 years. Right. I think about because um, he's talking about in the form of a crew and all, an all male crew. So I think about. um Cats like Shaka and Keenan and uh, these cats that went to Clark Atlanta University, right? And some of the biggest people behind the scenes in the music business all went to school together and took all graduated Clark Atlanta together. And to this day, is still getting money together and they killing it. You would never know who they are. They don't, you know, they don't. I mean, if you're in the city and you know, you know. But my point is the way that those crews exist and the way that they can get money and the way that they get it is because there's no ego. Even, to be honest, even when I look at crew season, when I look at how those guys move and the branding that they're doing and, and the way that their show is progressing, and shout out to Trill and OT and Smooth and, and them cats over there, man, no ego. You see that there's no ego, and Trill has talked about it multiple times, there's no ego over there, right? We going to Anton, we going to get it together. We going to bust it down together. I don't care whose name is at the top of the bill or the bottom of the bill. And that's what cats got to understand. When I when I chopped with JR, when I first came on, I said, okay, you Jordan, I'm Pippen. Absolutely no problems with playing Pippen. Why? Because I understand that's that man's vision. That's this is, this is his flagship. This is his brand. And what I try and do is put some paint where it ain't. Right. And I add that. Do, you, I do you know, do you know about you being Pippen? That's an ego. Why you can't be BJ Armstrong? I was BJ Armstrong. 